Hi everyone, it's Melissa from PeaceNotsJewelry.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super simple micro macrame bracelet featuring a different closure than normal. Normally I show you how to do a square knot closure that allows you to pull the ends to loosen, to take it off, and then pull to tighten. This one is different in that all you have to do is pull off the bead and attach the clasp back together. So the supplies that you're going to need are a macrame board with T-pins, a lighter, scissors. I used the 8 millimeter um, bargain bead box February 2021. It's a quartz round bead in aqua waves. If you don't have this particular bead, um, don't worry, you can use any type of uh, charm that you want. Uh, to create this little charm, I had to use um, head pins um, as well as bead caps. And then the cord that I used is an Eslon cord in um, a 0.5 millimeter in this uh, light brown color. So let's pull things to the side and let's get started. Okay, first we're gonna make this cute little charm. And in order to do that, you need a head pin and you need some bead caps. So first place the first bead cap and then take your eight millimeter bead and place that on top. Again, I ran out of the bead caps that I'm showing here, so I'm just using a different one. And then you put on the other bead cap like so. We're gonna take our chain nose plier and we're gonna bend. You're gonna hold it right at the end and you're gonna bend that over like so. And then you're going to cut the um, the head pin. Really, you're gonna have to gauge. You'll get used to it once you do it a couple of times. It's kind of like a trial and error. I usually leave myself a half an inch or more. Cut it. Then you're gonna take your needle nose pliers like so at the very tip of it and just slowly work this into a circle here. I usually continue to hold down. There we go. Sometimes I take my chain nose plier and just continue <laughs> see as you can see it's hard to hold together but I just continue pressing down because you don't want this to really move around on you okay so that is how you create that cute little charm and now we're ready to create the um, spiral. Okay, so you're gonna cut a piece of 40 inch cord. Keep in mind that all of my bracelet tutorials are for a six inch wrist. This is the average size of a woman's wrist. So cut that one piece of cord in 40 inches. Find the two ends at the bottom like so. That way you can find the center of the cord. And then once you find the center, you just want to create slip knots on either side. And that slip knot is just so you can tack down onto your board and work the next cord onto this cord. So here's the center. So I'm just going to go over about an inch and create that slip knot. So you're gonna wrap it around your thumb and pull. 
and then you're gonna do the same thing about an inch over. You don't have to be exact here. It's just, um, it'll make sense once we start doing the next step. So my other one came out, so I just need to recreate it right quick. Okay, so now we're gonna tack down Cut an 80 inch cord, find the center of the cord. Get a lark's head by taking that loop and placing it underneath the tacked down cord. You're gonna pull it over and then you're gonna pull the cord through like so and pull it to tighten. And you've got a little lark's head knot there. We can go in a little bit closer for you. Now we're going to create a series of lark's head knots by using the same cord that we've been working with. So you're going to take the right hand side and lay it over top of this cord here. You're going to pull through. Sometimes it helps to use your T-pin. You're going to pull through that cord through that loop you've created and pull to tighten. Now to, com to complete that, you went over this, so now we're gonna go under it. Again, with the same cord, go underneath and pull through that loop you've created and see how it created another lark's head knot. So let's do it now on the left hand side. So you're gonna go over and pull through. Pull to tighten. And now you're gonna go underneath. underneath and then through that loop. So you're gonna follow the same exact process going left, right, left, right, until you have did a total of 16. So I'll meet you once you're done with your 16. Have 16 lark heads knots so we're going to take the t-pins out of the um, holding cords and remove your slip knot and you're going to kind of create that circle Just pull the cords to tighten those knots and just test to see if the bead will go through. Let me open up my bag here and grab the bead. Perfect, my bead will go through. So now you're ready to go on to the next part was you want to still make sure that this section here is in the center of this um, is in the center of this cord section so you're gonna have to find the ends again and if it's not in the center just pull these down until they are it's pretty easy to do. So now you're ready to tack it down. 
once it's in the middle of that cord. And so now we're gonna create a square knot. So taking the left side cord and placing it over top the two center cords, then taking your right cord and pulling it up through the hole on the left hand side and just pull to tighten, like so. And then you're gonna do it on the right hand side. So take your right hand cord, lay it over top of the two center cords, take your left cord and bring it up through that hole on the right hand side. And now you have your closed loop. So now we're ready to begin. So you just completed this. So now we're ready to begin the spiral knot. So in order to do that, it's exactly the same process of a square knot, except instead of going right, left side, right side, you're gonna continue to do left side, left side. So you're gonna take your cord on your left hand side and place it over top of the two middle cords. You're gonna take your right cord and pull it through that hole on this side, like so. And you're gonna do the same process. Left side, create that number four. Take your right hand side cord and pull it up through that hole you've created. Your cord is automatically going to act like it wants to twist. So it's good to just go ahead and make it twist by taking the left cord and placing it over to the right and your right hand cord, place it over to the left. So again, create that four, pull up through that hole, and there's your spiral knot. And you're just gonna continue this all the way down until you get to the middle part of the, uh, of the macrame. So you're gonna go measuring from this point you're gonna go down three inches and I'll meet you there. which is the halfway point of this six inch bracelet. You're gonna go ahead and grab your charm that you created earlier, and you're gonna add it to the left cord, like so. And you're just gonna create those spiral knots again for another three inches. Okay. So I'm at the very end, I, I, don't, I personally don't have very much cord left. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna burn the edges by cutting them and then burning. So you don't wanna leave too much of cord to have to burn off. So you just burned the two outer cords now you're gonna take the T-pins out and you're gonna create an overhand knot right here just by simply going like so and pulling the cords through and then getting that knot right on the edge here and pulling to tighten. Usually pull each cord one at a time. So there's your overhand knot and then take one of the um, eight millimeter um, beads and string both of these two center cords through like so and create another overhand knot to close. 
close that bead in place. And then tighten and then you're going to cut off leaving a little bit and just burn the edges like so and there is your bracelet super easy to make comment below if you had any challenges or have any questions Thank you so much. Um, like, subscribe, comment, or turn on the notifications so that I know I'm making the right content for you. Thank you so much. Take care.